Hi guys. Hello. So we're on our way to Liverpool and we're about 15 minutes away now. And it's a miracle. Every time we come to Liverpool, it rains. And it's sunny. It's beautiful. <laughs> First time for everything. So today we're checking into our hotel and going to the Beatles Museum. So we shall see you there.
Barbara Beatles Museum, as you can probably tell from our new sunglasses. When in Rome. Even though they're not very much in Rome, are they? Well, for three pound no. fifty, you can't complain. A bit nostalgia. <laughs> so the Beatles. Beatles? Beatles Museum was really good. Yeah. It was uh, stressful. In that yeah, a bit stressful. Yeah, yeah, but it's really good. There's loads of re recreations of yeah. and the Cabin Claw, but yeah. what's that place called? Pounds each, not bad. We're in there two hours? Yeah, well worth it, and you get an audio tour included, yeah. so you learn lots of stuff and lots of videos and stuff to watch. Yeah, it's really good. Now we're going to our hotel? Oh, yeah. He's so pretty. I love the style of artwork. So, this is the Albert Dock. So, over this bit, you've got all restaurants, which got like Minnow and Carter, Smuggler's Cove, which is awesome if you're into pirates and things like that. Um, Evolution to Cuba, and then down here is all the little shops and uh, chip shops and cafes. Definitely worth, worth taking an hour out just to come round. One of our favourite places to eat too. <laughs> this is another museum worth doing, especially for like Titanic bits and mobs because we've got all the different um, artefacts and information and it's free it's even better so we've just arrived at a hotel I thought we'd do a quick room tour before we mess it up basically so we're stopping at the epic hotel which is on seal street and this is one of the wow rooms so that's the main room the bathroom the shower So, nice big bed, a bit of a seating area, the TV is huge, and then I love this, where do you hang your clothes up, safe, ironing board, so there's no aircon in these rooms but we have given us a fan, so hopefully that will help, so you know we love our coffee machines, however, the only thing they've given us, Twining's tea, so we might have to go and purchase some of them, although, the coffee machine, the cleaning is a lot to be desired really, isn't it? <laughs> However, the nicest part of this room is the balcony. Oh, it's already taken advantage. <laughs> really nice out here and it's a really hot day. So the only falls bar is here. And then, around here. And we've got all this as well, which is lovely. However, again, with the cleaning, empty bottles. But yeah, really nice. So, we're now in a bit of a different location. So, we had a bit of an issue with the door on the other hotel. Um, you could just push the door from the outside and it just opened. So we tried to sort it, they couldn't. Um, and also, like the coffee machine and everything, it just wasn't very clean. Um, so they've moved us. So they've moved us two streets away to Duke Street to one of their apartment hotels. So we'll give you a bit of a tour. So we're now in a one bedroom apartment because that's, well, we had this one and somewhere that sleeps safe. So we're like, yeah, we don't want somewhere that sleeps safe, thanks. So this is the bedroom. Of a dressing table, wardrobe, bathroom in here, which is really nice. Nice shower, and then we'll slide the fan off. And this is like the sitting and dining room area. <laughs> the TV, and then we've got a kitchen as well. It so, has a washing machine, <laughs> a dishwasher, mm -hmm. oven, a microwave. Yeah, well, we brought this because <laughs> we always come prepared. But yeah, it's nice. So at least this one's secure. Um, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It says it was more money, but we paid £160 for the original one, so yeah. two nights. So, £160, two nights first, can't go wrong really. Yeah, going to get ready to go out now, because we're a bit late. 
So a little bit more information on the room changes. Um, they did offer us to have another room on the same floor to lock our stuff in when we were out. Um, but we decided that that wasn't really what we yeah, wanted to do, was it? Um, and with the cleaning, the guy did come in and do some bits and bobs. Um, but he even looked in the shower and was like, mm. I was like, mm, you're expecting us to shower in that? Mm? <laughs> and then the lady um, who brought us the coffee because we have some, have some pot, coffee pots because like I say it was just tea she brought us more tea so we ended up with like 20 pods of tea <laughs> like we don't we drink tea but yeah. we want coffee yeah yeah can I just um, apologise for the state of me when we first got here as well I'd had a nap and I hadn't looked in the mirror and I looked at the video before we left and I was like ooh <laughs> been warm today as well mm, sleep <laughs> yeah yeah, so we're going to Bills now. Um, our closest Bills is in Birmingham, so when we come here, we do love to go to Bills. Um, but yeah, it's one of our favourite places, isn't it? If you've never been, we'll show you now. So, 29 today. Oh dear. One off 30. So close now. So close. So close. A new shirt on? New shirt. So, we had a relaxing morning. Um, Open your cards and presents. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Lovely, thank you. And now, we're going to Las Iguanas. Oh, yeah. Spotless brunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. £30 each. And because it's Monday, no, wait, Sunday to Thursday, you can upgrade cocktails for free. So let's go on. Day drinking. <laughs> well, it's only 11 o'clock. <laughs> Another lovely day. Lovely nice day. <laughs> lovely day. Every time. Every lovely time. day. So last night, Bill's was really nice, wasn't it? Yeah, great food. Yeah. I love it there. I mean, the uh, service wasn't great. And the one thing to watch on your bill is they always add a 12.5% um, gratuity. Service charge, yeah, is so what they call it. Just be careful. That like wasn't that. worth it last night, was it? No. Nice, best, nice. best fish pie ever. Yeah. Got to say. So we had a really good night's sleep, didn't we? Yeah. The bed really was good. so comfortable. Really comfortable. Um, apart from the music being played by next door. Yeah. Um, obviously having a party, but we still got to sleep. Still going on this morning, though, straight. Yeah. <laughs> An all nighter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, we probably wouldn't recommend Epic, though. No, um, we've had a few issues, yeah. which we'll probably. I mean, Tell you about. when we got home yesterday, we realised that the door hadn't locked properly. Oh, no. It was open. Was <laughs> the door frame was too um, small. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Another little game of table tennis. We've even got a little paddles in here. No wipes. Sanitising wipes. We have little balls. I oh, know, I think you have to bring your own. <laughs> I was right. It's in here. Ta da! Mm. Love it round here. What the pinkness. This place looks really nice. How pretty is the sitting area? The horse! And flamingos everywhere. Really, really pretty. So this is a really another nice place to eat. This is above the Liverpool One Shopping Centre. So we've got um, Pizza Express, Five Guys, that's one as well. We're going to Yiva. I don't know what that is. Walk and Grill. ZZ's, TGI Fridays, Wagon Mama and then Smoking Dough. Really nice. So 
service is the menu, like we say, £30 each, and then because it's a Sunday to Wednesday, you get um, the cocktails um, included, but it's just £5, so definitely worth it. And then, here's all the food. I think I'm going to have Brazilian beach cheese, which I think is going to be like halloumi, and then the breakfast burrito. Very hungry, so looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to it. Cocktails in the morning. <laughs> our drink so I've gone for the Hawana party and you've gone for the passion sour bomb. Look good don't they? Let's see. Come on. <laughs> oh. Oh it's sour. And you've just brushed your teeth. I was like oh <laughs> toothpaste. <laughs> mm. So like I said I went for the beach cheese which definitely looks like gloomy and then a market sauce? What is it? Sweet chili sauce. <laughs> uh, and then you've got yeah. the Cheese, cheese and, and mango, mango. It's, it's chilli jam. Ah, it's chilli jam. Nice. Mm. Let's see. So we've both gone for exactly the same. Breakfast burrito. And then we've got some fries to share. That's good. Yeah. Second round of drinks. We've got a mango collins and a Cuba Libra. That look good. Just seen these Harry Potter builder bears. And now we want to go make one. We've got animal crossing ones too. Mm. Which one would you get, Bob? Harry Potter. Yeah. With Ravenclaw. No. Yes. yes. Of course, yeah. yes. And of course, Slytherin. No. and buy your outfits on here. This is £18 and at Disney you probably pay $100. So definitely come and get them here. So we just spotted all of these and these are all pictures that we've got at um, DCA. Amazing. They're so cute. More ears, and again, these are cheaper than going to the Disney park. I love these. They're so cute. What did you get? 
Oh, let's see. Got Does it match the bowl? Yeah. Oh. Disney cats, look. The this one doesn't cat. need one. We're not doing like favouritism or anything. Cheshire cat, there's. Even though there's little, oh, sorry, Marie. There's little mittens on there. There oh, yeah. she is. Oh, so cute. Mm. And then there's some more pens because the ink ran out. Oh, they're, they're nice. Really though. Nice. They're nice. Ah, happy, happy. Happy. So we've just been to the Disney shop. It's so sad that one of them closed though, isn't it? Is that definitely happy? Yeah. Oh dear. We just ruined your birthday. Yeah, you have. It's sad. Really <laughs> <Not> sad. <me. laughs> yeah, so there's nothing like going to a Disney store and just having a quick mooch. There's always something there. Yeah. yeah. Nice stuff. Dinner was really nice. I wanted to have a brunch. Brunch. Very yeah, nice. We probably drank a bit too much this time of day. No, I need a nap. Nap time. No. no. Sunshine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is St George's Hall, amazing. This is where we have part of the Christmas market as well, just like right at the bottom. Well worth a visit. This is Empire Theatre. We're playing with Milwaukee and then everything's talking, everyone's talking about Jamie in September. And then in October, Beauty and the Beast. We wanted to get tickets, but we think we'll be in America. So, fingers crossed. This looks awesome. It's by Penn and Teller. We want to go see them in Las Vegas if we get there. These buildings are just amazing. So this is what I was saying is the museum, all free, and there's literally nobody around here, which is a real shame because it's so pretty. We've been in the museum before, and it, well I say it's a museum, but it's actually an art gallery. Still well worth a visit. Really pretty. And this is the Wellington Monument. I got a bit of a better angle from the other side, but yeah. Really nice fountain. Like normally it's busy around this bit when we come because there's normally a protest or when we last came there was pride um, going on here. Yeah, there's normally something going on. Oh, it's just amazing. I don't know if you hear them seagulls arguing in the background. <laughs> oh, you buggers. I keep telling Robert that I want to hire one of these. Because my ankles are dodgy at the minute. He keeps telling me I like land up flat on my face, so. No, you won't, I will. Yeah, I think that's more like it, though. You can't ride them on the pavement. No, it's illegal. It says. <laughs> yeah, it's legal to have your phone on it as well. Yeah, but a good idea. What a pretty library building. Amazing. Oh, and it's got all. Films and books. Well, I guess in the books, not films. Awesome. Then this is the museum building. Again, it is free. It's not just all about Liverpool. There's loads of different information in there. Well worth a visit. So it's actually a world museum. Hmm. So it's not actually open at the minute, which is a real shame. Hopefully it will be open soon. I see restrictions in Liverpool are still quite tight at the minute. So hopefully after all that settles down, we'll be back open. So this tunnel goes the other side of the river. So it is £1.60 for cars and £3.60 if you've got a trailer or caravan. This is so pretty. Look at all the different coloured pigeons. A little bit of shopping centre. This is cinema. Oh, it's really good. Awesome.
Matthew Street. It's awesome. Another Beatles museum. We go inside. How amazing is it in here? Yeah. Mm. And of course floor, that's a crossing. This is little side bit off Matthew Street. More Beatles bits. Oh, was it his birthday recently? Yeah. He's been 80. Wow. So this is where we are, where the little memorial is. So the back memorial, we know, we should have better days, so we'll talk to her over. How rude. <laughs> bit of history around the Cavern Club. <laughs> and then the new Cavern Club. It's just up here. Now we're nipping into this amazing bit of room, building even, I don't know what that was, Captain Hero. ventilation for the tunnels that we showed you earlier. Really awesome really. We've stopped in this hotel before, it's called 30 James Street. It's really nice. And it's a really good location, it's like in the middle of everything. Oh. So it's the old headquarters building for the White Star Line, which was the ship company that built the Titanic. Yeah, so it's got Titanic beamings in it, hasn't it? It's very opulent inside, yeah. I think that's it's the right boutique. way to describe it. <laughs> I think, yeah. yeah, it's got a really nice bar as well. It's like leather walls. Yeah. <laughs> All the buildings around here are just amazing. Look how pretty they are. So, this is the Cunard building. So, this was another ship. Um, company which at the time was in competition with the White Star Line, so they obviously the they, Titanic. They had the Lusitania and the Mauritania. Mm. Amazing buildings. So we've just come around the corner and there's a cruise ship in today. Not, I know it begins with an A but I can't remember what it's called so I'll have a look and let you know. Museum of Liverpool, which is another amazing museum to go see, and it's free again. It's just amazing around here. This is one of my favourite parts of any city, I'd say. 
Mersey Ferries where you get the ferry across from Mersey. And then this is the lava building. The lava bird's on top. Lava building. So there is two lava birds on top. A male and a female. One watching over the sea and one watching over the city. And the theory is if both were to fly away, Liverpool would cease to exist. Really cool. Time and dates for the um, ferry. And this is prices. So Liverpool this week actually lost their National Heritage Site status, which is such a shame because these buildings are beautiful. Like I said, where we are is Liverpool Pierhead. Some walks you can do. And the other dots. Hmm. Yeah. So I was totally wrong when I said it began with an A. It's actually Virtuosa. This is the closest you can actually get. This is the closest I've ever been to a cruise ship. If you are a Disney fan though, um, Disney Cruises come and um, dock here. And you can see them go. And obviously hear the horn. Yeah, awesome. I'd love to be here when one of them are docked. Are you having a nice birthday so far? Yes, thank you. Good. Not done a lot though, have we? No, it's just nice it's to walk around and yeah. enjoy the sights and the sunshine. Yeah, and then we had a coffee. Nice. My favourite, Cafe Nero. Best coffee. Better yeah. than Starbucks. I'll have to agree to disagree on that one. <laughs> but yeah, we're not doing a lot more now, are we? Um, the camera's actually flashing at us, so we'll probably pick up again later when we are going to our favourite restaurant here, which is Cowshed which is a steak place and it's just it's not a chain it's just um independent yeah and it's amazing and it the is. best steak side you can get but watch the space <laughs> Restaurant, it's only which, a five minute walk. which is better than Miller and Carter, and that's our favourite too. Oh. So it's a nice summer, summer, sunshiny evening. Shall we have roll steak, mm -hmm. ribeye, mm -hmm. and flat iron? 
Nice. Cream cabbage and green beans. Green beans. Bacon. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Peppercorn sauce. The best steaks I've ever <laughs> offered. And eggs. <laughs> Bayonets and fries. Happy? Yes. <laughs>so we are just about to check out of our hotel slash apartment hotel <laughs> we've got to go back to our original one which is two streets away yeah so a bit of a pain and we just got locked in the car park as well we got out of the car and we're like um can't get out <laughs> couldn't get in couldn't get out shopping today so we won't do much filming because you know the shops are shops shop. <laughs> yeah we're going to yard and coop which is a simple fried chicken place for dinner well, say dinner it's like three o'clock yeah. so what do you call that we're looking Afternoon. forward to that Afternoon, lunchy, dinner thing. <laughs> cow shed really, it was really nice last night, wasn't it? Oh yeah, well, cow shed was good. Mm. Um, but I think I may have been wrong when I said that cow shed was better than Miller and Carter. I think See, they're different. They're, they're, they're really equal, if yeah. put it that way. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, that was a good meal. Yeah. I really like this. But I feel like a pretty woman in it. <laughs> Love it. direct or these trolleys which were like 350 and like proper golf trolleys as well <laughs> but it's absolutely chucking it down we knew it was going to rain but not this time yeah we, we had got in the car yeah <laughs> but we left them bye bye hey ho <laughs>
drinks have arrived. Robert's gone for a cider, and then I've gone for a lychee now, which is lychee syrup, rose, what's the Lemon juice, lemon and, prosecco. juice and prosecco. It's amazing. <laughs> Cheers. Happy half holiday day. Uh -huh. Halfway holiday day. Yeah. So food has arrived. We've both gone for the winner winner chicken dinner, which is mash, chicken, gravy, and English puddings. These are the monkey ball. No. No, they're not monkey balls. They're, they're the chili mac. DRC balls. So the mac and cheese balls. Garlic. Garlic. Monkey brains. Monkey balls. Balls. <laughs> so they are buttermilk fried chicken breast with Dr Pepper barbecue sauce and bee's knees hot honey. Mm. And then Robert had the same dinner with me. I don't know why it all came out once, but it looks amazing. That's probably a tip if you're ordering on the app. Order yeah. starters, pay for it, then order your mains. Yeah. Hey, so hey. it doesn't all come together. Yeah, looks good though. It smells amazing. It does. Only you can smell it. Yeah. <laughs> so for pudding, we've both gone for blondies. I've gone for the Kinder Bruno and Nutella. Robert's gone for the Biscoff. It's been such an amazing meal, what to say. So guess what? Um, yeah, guess what, indeed. <laughs> we forgot to end the video. Just for a change. Yes, so we hope you enjoyed our Liverpool vlog. If you did, um, we'd really appreciate it if you could give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. So more adventures on the way. See you soon. Bye.